Hi everybody, this is Sarah Adams and uh, just wanting to make a video for ya. The hair is doing uh, some interesting things right now. Just went out for a walk in the freezing cold. I think there's a high of like 15 today in Portland. And I know for like people in Idaho that's probably nothing, but we're here. That's really chilly. So, wow. Today is January 14th, Saturday, January 14th. Ha! Ah, what a time. I just want to speak of opening into universal love. It sounds very romantic, but the initiation that a soul has to go through to move from human love to universal love is, uh, it's not for the weak of heart. Let's put it that way. <laughs> this, if we see the human heart as a heart that's based in polarities of good, bad, right, wrong, me, self and other, enlightened, not enlightened, whatever, all the polarities we could ever think of. This human heart is used to judging, um, especially the heart brain that's connected to the mind, right? Very used to judging. And in order to pass through this gateway into the neutral consciousness, which is the universal love of the thymus, the higher heart, in order to pass through this gateway and allow this universal heart to kind of take over the human heart, you have to drop all judgment <laughs> and and endure the sensations of all the places in you that have shut down to try to protect the illusion that we have to protect ourselves, right? That causes heart walls to go up. Is we have to drop all these heart walls at once and open fully into this massive vulnerability of openness. And the ironic thing is that in this, through this incredible vulnerability, we become the, this receptacle for the most glorious beauty to course through us. And so this is what I experienced the last, with this January full moon was a huge um, initiation from the human heart across this gateway into the universal heart and um, it was intense so just sending a lot of love a lot of support for anybody who's finding themselves going through these higher heart passages wish I had a little more light yeah I have some dark circles from this experience um, it's not a it's a it definitely was a challenge over here um, thought maybe I'd have to go to the hospital um, but I'm glad it wasn't happening on that dense physical level right it's like the heart was able to pave a gateway into the universal love that could allow all those blockages to be surrendered and released thank goodness you know so many people their hearts just close down and they can't handle these intense light waves so I think the best thing to prepare ourselves for these deep, deep thresholds of, 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 lo of light is to practice surrendering all judgment. Practice imagining that every single thing that's happening in this divine play of our 3D reality is saturated with exquisite love, that nothing is outside of that love, that that love permeates everything. And ultimately, as we return to our Christed heart, we are the heart that can breathe everything equally back into the core without any preference, without any judgment. We breathe everything we breathe the pleasure and the pain. We breathe the darkness and the light. We breathe 
the most gnarly things that humans have participated in, that we ourselves have participated in in past lives. We breathe all of this back into the one heart that knows that everything is love. So perhaps I'll title this, you know, moving through the gateway into the universal heart. Drop all judgment. Everything is love. And that doesn't mean that some of us don't have a preference toward ending suffering on this planet. Because that is the absolute obvious byproduct that comes from living with a human heart is compassion and the desire to uplift everything in reality. So that still stays there. That desire to uplift is there. But the ability to remain neutral in the face of all polarity and to breathe everything into the universal heart and turn it to gold. This is what this initiation demands. So much love. And if you're having uh, a challenge with this initiation, you know, get in touch. This is, this is a passage that I now have some deep experience with. I can help you through, midwife you through this incredible birth. So much love. This is Sarah Adams. This is January 14th. Wishing everybody ease, deep love. Wishing everyone, I want it. I want the love to come through my eyes, but I'm not sure where the camera is. I think if I look at it right there, sending through my eyes this deep, everlasting, perpetual presence. That is that stays expanded through all condition. This unconditional presence of this oscillating flame of perpetual presence. This is what is required to pass through this gateway into universal love. All right, everybody, I'll say goodbye now. Bye.